Hey guys, Harv here, and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. This is the Kerbal Test Pilot in version 0.20.0.162. Oh, <laughs> and today we have a ship submitted by Potka. That, that's po Potka, yes. Submitted by Potka. And being 0.20, I haven't moved across my saves yet. So this is the first one in a new save, and we have a flag. A stock flag because I haven't had a chance to make a test pilot flag yet. And here it is. Someone asked for a carrier plane. So someone submitted a carrier plane. <laughs> Whether they were the same person or not, I'm not entirely sure, but um, I don't think they were. So here we go. This is a carrier plane that was submitted very recently by Potka. It's got a lot of parts. The way it works is basically you have this big uh, plane and you have a small little uh, plane on top of it. <laughs> it ah oh man, the reason, the main reason I chose this was just the screenshot, and not necessarily that. Oh yeah, it was a really really good screenshot. It's just that the, how it looks, the mo the size, what they've done with the two tanks. I am just astounded that that idea did not occur to me, and annoyed of course. I, I really wish it had now. And in fact, I'm actually going to go away straight after this and build some ships with this way. But it's basically just the Mark III air aerospace tanks and one on top of the other, flipped upside down. That is really, really cool. So without further ado, let us get this. We have some flight instructions. We have some instructions. And those instructions are thus. Why is that in orbit mode? Surface, there we go. So the instructions are throttle up, switch on fine controls, which I always do anyway. Activate the first stage, this is this. Take off very carefully. The carrier plane is a bit hard to control, we shall see about that. Retract the landing gear and throttle down to a bit two thirds power once we are off. And it can't, it can't take off by itself. Ah, that is a big flaw. Oh, there we go, and it's down. Oh, it's into the air. Retracting landing gear, there we go. And use a combination of trim and an avionics package to make it work. Where's the avionics package? <laughs> In the email it just says, yes, there is an avionics package. I'm like, okay, why would you emphasize that if it wasn't hidden? And it is hidden. I want to look for this now, actually. You know what, we'll, let me adjust my trim. Why is that in orbit mode? Is this a bug? I'm guessing this is a bug with 0 0.20. Just adjusting trim. In order to adjust trim, it basically means that the plane wants to point in a certain direction. And you can do that by holding Alt and then pressing whatever direction key you want it. So to stop this plane from tipping forwards too much, and I've done it too much, I'm, I'm pressing the Alt and S keys. Okay, throttle down to two thirds is what he said. There we go, put avionics package on. Oh, look at that wobble. That wobble! Avionics, are you hiding inside the body of the ship by any chance? Oh, those overlap nicely, don't they? Where is avionics? I'm on, I'm on the hunt for avionics, I should not let this thing go. And you're, you're actually using small hard points. I'm very, I'm very surprised with you. <laughs> no one uses, actually uses the things we're told to use, surely. Okay, let me just adjust this back again. Oh wow, yeah, the the thing doesn't get many points for being able to control, but that's that's not bad because that's how most things like this work. They aren't easy to control. You know, let me just sort out my course. I'd quite quite like to stay over the equator, but we'll see. Uh, tipping up, yeah, it does have a tendency whichever direction it's traveling in, whether it's tipping up or tipping down, it has a tendency to carry on traveling in that direction. There we go. Right. There. Now, where is this avionics package? I'm not giving up. I want to find... There it is. I found it. Ha ha. It's inside the cockpit. So basically, the Kerbal is sitting on it, right? Can we see? Yep, the chair was made out of avionics package. Okay, that's cool. Alright, and uh, let's actually do maybe a review of this plane. So there's one thing that, just looking at this, disconcerts me somewhat. And that's the fact that the tail is wobbling an awful lot. <laughs> that tail is really swaying up and down, isn't it? What's with the fish? I mean, in the previous episode, the pod racer, manta ray and all, this one, just, I don't even know what to say, but it just, look, it just resembles a fish with the way it's got a fin, a big fin, that is a remarkably big fin, and it's flapping up and down like that. <laughs> 
Okay, so the thing says we should level off at 5 kilometers. Now, leveling off, I'm not sure what degrees this is supposed to be. It probably will tell me in the instructions, because instructions are good like that. Uh, you know, for now, we're just going to keep on climbing, because this thing can fly at above 5 kilometers if it doesn't run out of... Uh, of juice to keep it to keep it stable. Uh, point thirty degrees up. That is when you are rising. So that's a bit late for that. Climb to eight thousand meters, fly long range, or five thousand meters and level off. Get to destination or level off at five thousand meters. So you have to do it at five thousand meters, basically. Okay. Uh, before you can, before you can change, what uh, you know, release the cargo plane. Obviously, this cargo plane thing. Okay. Press X to cut the power, then press space. The rocket glider will separate, press space again, and throttle up. And those are the tail engines that ignite. Okay. Right. So, what I'm going to do is... Whoa, okay, this thing... That's either my trimming, or that this thing just wants to turn left for some reason. I don't think it's my trimming. I'm usually very careful not to trim in any direction other than up and down, but it could be. Now, what happens if I take off all my trim? It tips forwards, okay. Is the fuel all draining from the front? It's draining from the the bottom? Is it just draining from there? Training. Is it just draining from there? I think that might be it. Okay, so the nose is actually getting lighter. No, it's the it's the front base and this one. Oh man, the fuel flow on this thing must be a bit hectic. Ah, actually I can see it working fine enough, but Okay, yeah, it's that and the, t the top one on the back and the bottom one on the front. Makes sense, I suppose. Okay, so we're now below 5 kilometers. We want to rise back up to 5 kilometers, and we want to detach our plane and land at the runway over there. That is the mission. So we shall put avionics package on. We're nearly at 5 kilometers. And then we'll, we'll probably, you know, after we try and land this, if we do manage to land it, then we'll go back and do the whole normal testing thing in Majobi. And we'll try and land this as a whole. Uh, see if our mission was aborted or whatever. Okay, that, oh wow, nearly five kilometers. Come on, go up a little bit more. <laughs> Got to be precise. He seems like he wants it to be very precise in the email. So, five kilometers, cut engines, and release the Kraken. Okay, there we go. And now, stage again to start the next engines. And throttle up to burn them away. Hello, plane. <laughs> Hello. Ah, It's just driving off. Does this thing have gimbal? Yes, it does have gimbal. Okay, good. I want to chase the plane. I know, I, I know what I said about landing and all. But I want to chase the plane. Also, I want to test this thing's ability to fly upside down, <laughs> which is actually very high. The the craft here with these swept wings, yeah, we can just agree that swept wings are probably the most stable wing in the entire game. <laughs> they are! Look at them! Look how stable they are. And I'm going to turn over so I can actually chase this thing. This thing has a surprising amount of fuel as well. It's using liquid fuel and liquid engines. Um, and these engines, their ISP is... Only 260 uh, in atmosphere, which really isn't very high. And yet, and yet, we managed to uh, have quite a bit of fuel. That's just one tank. There we go. Set that as a target. Take the heads of display off because I don't need it. I'm a pro at this game. There it is, the plane. Come back, plane. Come fly to me. Come fly, let's fly away. Let's hope I don't crash. I'm probably going to crash, aren't I? No, I'm okay, I'm okay. Okay, so we can... Yeah, goodbye. I'm surprised that thing's actually still flying. It may be quite a fun game to uh, chase that. Ah, please crash. Are you going to crash? Are you going to crash? Maybe? No, it's actually not. That thing is having a time of its life. And there it crashed. Okay. Right, now time for us to get over to this island. We have plenty of fuel. Going at two-thirds throttle quite a nice glide. It's a bit oscillatey, but that's to be expected when you only have this. If I sort of, if I use trim only, everything becomes a lot smoother. And we'll throw it down to one third. I think it could probably handle that. Okay. And we're going to tip nice and gently. 
Now, one thing I do know about this this particular plane, this small little narrow plane, yes, it doesn't seem to have an awful lot to it, but then when you hit G, and all the wheels pop out. <laughs> Tons of wheels. And in fact, having them two by two, like Noah's Ark, may not be all that stable. Just a little bit of thrust to keep us going. Uh, as we discovered in challenging YouTubers, was it the very first episode? Wow. That was, it seems like it was yesterday. Okay, bring this in to land. It does have a very good land uh, gliding profile. And there we go. Unfortunately, it doesn't uh, land so well. Brakes, brakes, brake, 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 brake. Oh yeah, we go right through these. Huh. And we're in the hangar. <laughs> so that so that worked quite well then, didn't it? Okay. In this foreign land, Jebediah Kerman, you shall take off from your thing. No need for a ladder, you are Jebediah Kerman. And we shall walk over, oh, ignore that, and we shall plant a flag. <laughs> because we are conquering this hangar that is most likely ours. There we go. Very nice. Site name. Uh, we came... No, site name. Be, be, be reasonable. Uh, hangar. <laughs> Literally. Oh, I didn't check. Can I change the plaque? Read the plaque. Ah, oh, I can't change the plaque. Ah. To be honest, probably wasn't worth writing anything anyway. Okay, let us get back onto our ship. And we're actually going to go test this plane now. I'm let's playing. I'm not really doing test pilots, am I? End the flight. Restart the flight. Here we go. In fact, we're going to have a look at vessel information in point o two o, can't we? Or o no, point two o o point two o zero point two o. There we go. Vessel information. Our vessel, the TDM five rocket glider, which I didn't actually say the name of, did I? Oops. TDM five rocket glider. It's got a hundred and fifteen parts. It weighs thirty two something tons. It is currently in all those in that location. That's nice. How is our crewman? Jebediah Kerman. Really? Only half courage and only half stupidity? I... I... Are they random? Because they could not resist making Jebediah Kerman full courage and full stupidity, surely. Wow. I'm really surprised the squad. Okay. Enough of that. Focus on the actual plane, Harvey. So, what do I like about it so far? And what do we need to do? We need to put it through the test, the ultimate test, the only test, which is our time warp test, and with that flappy back tail, I can't imagine it's actually going to go particularly well. Somehow. Somehow I don't think it's going to go particularly well. But we'll see. Um, there it is, flapping. Just disconcerting. So, positive, oh no, we'll start with negative. Negative things so far, the, no, oh, there's steam. Check your steam, everyone. Check, th there you go. Yep, you checked your steam. Well done. <laughs> ah, uh, negative things about it so far is that the the tail is quite is quite prone to flapping. I just typed s s s s s into my Steam window. Hang on. There we go. So the uh, the only con so far really that the tail does flap quite a lot. Avionics package is needed to make it fly stably, um, and that does flap it quite a lot at low altitudes. But that is the same on every craft. So that's not really a specific con to this ship. Uh, and the carry itself doesn't fly particularly well. But having said that, it looks incredible. It's got a really nice part count. It's definitely not overdone. Like a lot of people seem to think, oh, we must put all the parts in. We need this and this and this. No, it's quite simple and elegant, which is really quite nice. It definitely works. First time I've flown that and I managed to land it safely. I mean, admittedly, I did go through a wall. But in the Kerbal Space Program, such things really happen on a day-to-day -day basis, and it's nothing to really uh, draw any attention to. So that's fine and all. And, yeah. Time for the time warp test. Time for the time warp test. Okay. Times two acceleration. We can still maneuver pretty much how- Oh, that tail. That tail on times two is already causing some problems. Look at it flapping back there. Okay, I'm not even going to put avionics now, because I have a feeling it will shred the entire craft. Oh, but boy, could we need it. Oh, okay, avionics. Ooh. Avionics now? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 dear. Oh, dear. Oh, 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 dear. There goes the tail. Right, now that we don't have that pesky tail, maybe we can actually fly this thing properly. 
Or, or not. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong buttons, that's why. Come on. Fly, 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 fly me to the ocean. Let me swim amongst the fish. Ah, yes. Okay, so it doesn't handle the time warp test very well. Certainly not with avionics package on. If we maybe don't do that. I said, didn't I? I said it would shred and I said it would fail. So at least I predicted my own failures. Okay, there we go. Load up the ship and we're flying forwards. And it's all going hunky dory. What's our current velocity? Doesn't say. Huh. Okay. So, getting into the air, we'll do the time warp test, we'll... Look, look at the ship. Look at the ship. You can just see the nose as well. You can just see... 95 meters per second. You can just see the tip of the nose. And there is the runway. And tip up. And avionics on. And there we go. Okay. We have now closed the landing gear. Oh, wow. That is a shaky view, isn't it? That is quite a shaky view. Okay. Time warp test. So... Let me just sort out the trim, actually. Just do a bit of trimming. As I've said, Alt and any direction key. There, maybe. Uh, that's fairly stable. Could be more stable, certainly. Let's just do a bit more. Okay, there we go. Times two. It's okay. We can deal with it. It's just quite the back wheel. Back thing. Times three. Oh, <laughs> yes. Go. Um... We're alive. Okay, we are alive. We're alive. And I have... I certainly have control over the ship. That's not really a problem. Okay. C oof, Christ. That that bottom bit bent. Oh, man. And the tail has gone. Most of the tail, at least. And now we're doing front flips. This is a stunt plane. Yeah, okay. In conclusion, it doesn't handle the time warp test particularly well. Can we recover? Can we recover? No. No. Engine's overheating because I didn't throttle down. Okay, detach this. Survive, survive, survive. Ooh, that was close collision. Okay, take off my trim. Start the next engine, and we're away. Ah, conclusion. Time warp test. It did not pass. It did not pass the time warp test. And those engines overheat, which is really odd. I, I don't remember engines overheating in previous versions that badly. No matter how close together they were. So I guess maybe it may be a bit... It's maybe, maybe, maybe a rebalance in the game. Okay, we'll fly this back. We'll land it at the main site. And then we shall be done with the thing. I think we've covered basically everything. It's not an incredible craft, but it's the concept that's really good. And on the test pilot, I like doing concepts. The fact that you're carrying a small plane on top. Nothing especially new, but that is nice. What caught my eye, as I've said, is the, uh, the, the chassis. The, the fuel tank on it was it was one on top of the other which I really like the style of I want to do that myself in the future there we go down to two thirds throttle but yeah it's certainly not a bad craft and uh, performed pretty damn well now the actual objective according to the email was to try and get up as high as possible I suppose um, it said press space it will separate throttle up the two rocket engines will ignite. Use them to accelerate a climb as far as you can before the fuel runs out. Uh, I haven't really done that. But, you know. I, 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 it's not really a achievable ob It's not really a material objective. It's just kind of, yeah, go, do there, go there, do this. I, I'm happy with how I've showed off this ship today. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching the video. Thank you very much for watching the video. As almost always, there is a craft download in the description. If you would like to submit your own ships for my scrutinous review in the Kerbal Test Pilot, you can do so by following these same instructions in the description of this video, emailing me at hockgaming at live.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching, if you liked the video please do like the video, and I shall see you all next time. Oh, please break. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> I'll see you all next time.